Hello, and welcome to Minecraft. This episode we're building a frog pond. Let's get started. So, we're going to start with the blocks. We have all these blocks right here. So, we're going to pause it and look at them all. Also, go through them. Cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, slab. Mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone stairs and slab as well. Chorus dirt, grass, just for creative now. Um, moss block, we'll also have moss carpet. Lime stained glass pane, brown candles, bone meal. Mangrove, proper ghoul, the new stuff. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. 1.19. Sugar cane, small blossoms, lilacs, small drip leaf, big drip leaf. Kelp, sea grass, sea pickles, azalea, um, both types, flowering and unflowering. Yep, carpet again. Frogs, you can, you're in survival, you have to get like actual frogs, which you get from these frog spawn. And then water to fill in the pond. Let's get started. So we're going to grab all our blocks. We're going to grab all of these. And we'll start with these first. And then we'll. Actually starts. So we want to make a circle, so we're gonna just go around, digging a little circle around here. And you can make this as big as you'd like. I'm gonna make it a little bit big because we're in creative mode. So we actually have a lot of blocks. But if you make this a bit smaller, so yeah, not a perfect circle. About this size could be good for now. So there you go. So look, look, it looks circular, but it's not actually a perfect circle. So now we're gonna break all the blocks in the middle. And there you go. Just break all these and. It'll look amazing. Alright. Oh, by the way, we're in the creative world, so if you see any builds in the background you like, you know, check out the rest of the channel. They're all on the channel. And we're going to go down another layer, leaving the blocks on the outside. So, go down one layer here. There we go. And, all the way around. There we go. Now, go down another layer. We've got bedrock, but obviously in survival you wouldn't have bedrock there. Let's continue on. We're in the, the super flat. It's only three blocks tall. And bam, there we go. That should be a good sized pond. Obviously we'll like swap out the bedrock. We don't want that on the floor. But firstly, we're going to add in cobblestone. Just like add some random cobblestone around. A few on the top as well. Just add them every so often. Around the top here. Oh, that's actually a good spot right there. Uh, fill that in for a second, and bam, there we go, cobblestone. Now we'll start replacing some of the blocks with cobblestone, so uh, that one, every so often, we'll just, like, replace one. And you can add as much as you'd like, I don't think, like, too much is good, you know, I want to add, like, a little bit, though. As people know, and another one, like, there. Maybe one, like, here, and then, like, that, move that one over. Yeah, that looks good. And then we're gonna... Add, yeah, more at the bottom as well. So add some down here. Bam, bam, bam. Hmm. Is that good? Always take a step back to have a look at your build so you can see. I think it's pretty good. It looks like a good amount of cobblestone. Now we'll add in some mossy cobblestone. So we'll add in one like here, one there, one like here, one here maybe. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, not there. That's two on the corner. One here, one there. Just like add them all the way around, like randomly. One down here, one here. Make it so it's an even spread. You make sure it's always like pretty even around, you know. It's got to be a little bit random, so just like over here and here. But that looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna start adding in the stairs and slabs. So we'll start with the slabs. So we have to have stuff like here. Adds a bit of depth to the sort of blocks, it makes it look a little bit more, you know, like, it's like there's more, actually, another one there, but yeah, you can add in, like, the slabs, to add some different sizes and stuff to the blocks, and we'll add a cobblestone stair right here, uh, let's see, uh, there, yeah, it looks pretty cool, next we'll add in a, another slab here, add in a stair, Mossy cobblestone, like here, and it's like depth to the the build, so like it's not all just like one level and and the slab here, there, and then another stair right here, and maybe another slab right here. Boom! You know you can you can go crazy, like you know, how much you like. I think this is a good amount. You don't want to do too much, or else it's like overpowers the build. 
Next, we're going to swap out everything else with um, Chorus Dirt. Going around firstly at the top. We're just adding like a layer around, just so you can see the outline of the pond. Bam, I'm going to add in the Chorus Dirt right here. And yeah, like frogs, I'm, I always want to like make a frog pond, like after seeing the frogs, like, oh, that looks really cool. I want to like make somewhere for the frogs to go, so we're going to add some here. You can actually extend it a little bit to like make it look a little bit more random, you know, like like this. There you go, you know, not all perfectly symmetrical on the outside. And Chorus Dirt's really good because it doesn't have grass grow on it, so it's like a sort of like dirt, dirty texture. Oh, we can actually add mud as well. Um, mud. Yeah, mud, mud actually might look really good as well. Yeah, let's just, we'll add a bit of mud as well. So we'll go around with chorus dirt first, and then let's keep going round. Almost finished. Yep, add a little bit more chorus dirt here. There you go. And then we'll fill all this into chorus dirt, and then we'll add in some mud. This might look really cool because it's a new block. I think leaving a bit of dirt as well to add like a bit of texture um, um, variation is pretty cool. Right, boom. Make sure there's no grass. Yeah, and definitely don't want any grass in the build. Because we're gonna add we're gonna add in moss a little bit later, so that will add in the green. Alright, boom. Looking really cool. Now add a bit of mud in. Oh yeah, also the bedrock. I can't forget that. That looks really funny. <laughs> Having bedrock at the bottom. Right, boom. Place all this, and here we go. And yeah, like I would, I would have put like um a man of blocks in the description or like on screen, but I don't really know how many blocks you would need. All right, let's add a bit, bit of mud, and like little patches of mud. So I add a little bit of mud here and here, just every so often. Let's throw in some mud. Like a nice little vein of mud here. There you go. And then a bit more mud there. A bit of mud here. Now on the outside, we're gonna add start adding mud all over the place. And boom. There you go. Add a bit of mud. More mud. Mud's pretty cool. It's a, one of the new blocks, you know. It's really it's really interesting. It's a little bit dark. Uh, actually, it's what mud looks like. I've I've actually been to like a mud flat, so there's like a dog beach. Um, it's time set day, so we can see a bit better. But yeah, there's a dog beach that I go to because my dogs, you know, and uh, a little bit too much mud. No, that's good. Yeah, we have a dog beach, and it's like a it's a mud flat, and it's just this huge flat area of like mud where like the water goes in and out, and it's like you know not very deep water because like the tide goes out most of the day, so. You can take your dogs there, and it's like really like cool, you know. And you can take your dog to this um, you know, mud flat beach, and it's really cool, you know. Yeah, and it's very, it's actually like you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of like the words to describe it, but yeah, you just like take your dogs to the the mud flat, and it's you know, it's this huge mud flat. So it's just like literally like a super flat, but it's not, it's not like you know, super big, but it's awesome. And like you can walk across it. There's loads of little holes in it as well, from like the crabs. There's loads of crabs and like or fish or something like that, like digging the the ground. So it's like it's like a bit like ah, but you know, so it's pretty cool, you know. And I keep saying you know, but yeah, let's actually start filling the water in now, and then we'll work on the vegetation after that. But yeah, like the mud flat's pretty cool. It's a cool place to take your dogs, you know. As I uh, try to, I'll uh, start with the bottom first, so you can get like make sure there's no water sources. You don't want any water sources like, like that. You don't want like stuff in the middle like being. Yeah, start from the bottom layer. So you have all the thing full of water sources. There you go. They should all just fill in if you do it from the bottom layer upward, and then fill in all the light, all the little side parts. Boom, there they go. Yep, and go round. Bam! That should be the pond all filled in. Awesome. Let's start grabbing our blocks. This stuff. We'll save the other stuff for a little bit later. All the water stuff right now. We're gonna grab everything that goes in the water. There we go. I think you, I think you can place proper yules underwater as well. 
Yeah, you can. That's cool. That adds more vegetation. So we're going to get started. We're going to add in these. These are pretty cool. These are a new thing that happened last update. They're not new now, but they're, they were new before. So I'm still like they're new. You can add a little thing there to add an, another kind of vegetation. So you had some lime stained glass with a, a brown candle on it. You can also use a sea pickle. I like the brown candle. It looks a bit better. But you can use a sea pickle as well. And there you go. And a couple of these. So this adds a new kind of like plant into Minecraft that doesn't actually exist. Alright. Add that there. Like one more. Maybe I'll break this one here. Uh, I don't, don't want them to connect. It's a bit annoying when they connect. So I want there to be free. So that's too deep. Uh, I'm trying to think of how we can do this without... Yeah, maybe break this block. There you go. Can I place this on slabs? Let me just quickly check. I don't think you can, but... Oh, he, he sort of... It's, yeah, it doesn't really work. Okay. And... There you go. Let's move this block. Over... You know, I actually do like that one there. Uh, looks pretty cool. Wait, does it not connect to stairs? Let me have a look. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's move the stair, the stair there. And then... That doesn't connect as much. That's pretty cool. But add back the water in. And there you go. Oop. Uh, Get rid of this block. There you go. So there's, there's a cool like building tip right there to add some extra vegetation in. We'll start adding seagrass. We'll just like, throw some seagrass all down everywhere. Add some kelp. So we'll have a nice big one in the middle. And then a little one over here. Kelp's pretty cool because it like dances. I like the little wiggle it has. Like little wiggle wiggle wiggle. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> kelp. And you just add some kelp all over the place. Boom. You can place it on like cobblestone, which is pretty nice. So you can actually place it on this cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. So do we have enough kelp? Right, another two tall one here. Another three there. And I think that's good for kelp. We might have one more just here. A gap right there. Now we add some sea pickles. This will add some light into the build. So it will actually be like a glowing pond at night. So at night time, have a nice glowing pond. You can add a whole bunch of sea pickles. You can add like three. Which is a bit uneven. Add a bunch more here. Bam, there you go. That'll add light. Now we can add the drip leaves in there. These are pretty cool. Add one like here. Here. And I think you can place big drip leaf like... Uh, do you have to place it on top? Oh, you can't place it on the mossy cobblestone. Interesting. Can you place it on normal cobblestone? No, you can't. We're going to have to grab... Some coarse dirt. And if you right click the top, bam, it'll grow. I think you can bone mill it if you're in survival. There you go, have one, have one, have one there. I'm gonna place it here. Oh, there we go. And bam, there we go. I'll actually have that one. Why is it not placing? Oh, there you go. It's being weird. I was like trying to place it there. Maybe it's like thinking I'm placing it there. But yeah, they have one that one on the surface. I have few more small drip leaves. Oh, they're only one tool. Okay. So you can only place these around the side, so... Place it on some mud there. Add another one, like, here. There you go. Next, we add a proper ghoul or two in here. With a new plant, so... Let's add one or two of these in there. I think they can grow, so I'd be, be careful not to, like actually add them because they could they could grow into full trees but we'll add a bunch more grass you know all over the place just completely fill it with grass so it looks very like pond like this is a very like murky dirty pond it's not like a clean pond you know it's like that's why it's all dirt coarse dirt and mud there's all these like you know like a proper pond like you'd see in like the an actual park or something you know where frogs would be all laid in there Right, you don't want every block to be full of grass. You know, most of them. Just break that one. That one. We want to have, like, a good coverage, but not too much. There we go. That's good for the inside the, pool, the, the pond right there. Now I'm going to go 
around the pond. We're going to add in all of our around the pond blocks. And the last thing we'll add is the frogs because we don't want the frogs like escaping. So next we're going to add in a bit of moss around the... A bit of moss around. All the way around and just add in moss all the way around the whole pond because it'll just look really, really cool. And there we go. Because moss just looks great. It's like a better version of grass, pretty much. Grass does still look really good, though. I, I like I like the look of grass, you know. Just dig all the way around. And... This would look really cool in, like, an actual, like, the new swamp biome. I should have built it in the new swamp biome, but I want to build everything in this creative world so we have it. And... And... It's time to day again, so we have light. Go all the way around our moss, and... Okay, boom, there we go. Nice mossy chorus dirt. Oh, it's a bit, bit um, uniform here. Let's add a little bit more chorus dirt around here. There we go. A bit more moss. Yeah, you don't want it to be look. You don't want it to look too many straight lines. If you see like a straight line like this, it's too straight. Get you know, get make sure it's not too straight. There you go. Like we can actually have like a moss there, and then. Yeah, that's just a bit straight. There you go. Yeah, you don't want any... any like, if you see something like that's super straight... Like, I think anything more than three blocks... Like, this is fine, because it's like a, a corner here. But any more than three blocks is, like, too straight. Yeah, it's cool. Now I'll add in some lilacs, because they're a pretty cool flower. Just add a couple of these all the way around. Let's do a bit of jumping around. Bam, 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 bam. We won't have one here, because this is where we can sort of walk in and see the pond. So next we're going to add in, let's see, some azalea bushes. These will look really nice, just like round. Just throw these all the way round. Some are flowering, some not. Two flowering there. Non flowering, flowering, non flowering. There we go. The pinks like sort of work together. Like this is pink and this is pink. So, well, it's lilac, not like pink. Uh, what does it make actually in um the crafting recipe? I don't know. Because we don't have a crafting table here, but. I mean, it's like a pinky sort of like magenta sort of color, you know. One of those kind of colors. Uh, another one like here. Bam. There you go. Looking pretty cool right now. Also add a bit of sugar cane in. So we'll grab our coarse dirt. So we'll throw some sugar cane in here. Two blocks there. Like a block there. Maybe a bit of sugar cane over here. Free high there. Um, I like the sugar cane, but also sort of don't like the sugar cane. Oh, yeah, I like it. Okay. Next, we're going to add in some mangrove trees around. Because this will make it look really cool. So, we add a mangrove tree here. Do some bone meal. Bam. They're pretty cool. Like, look at these new trees. They're great. Look at them. They've got, like, vines growing up on them. They're really, really cool. I really like them. All right, let's grow them. They're huge as well. So, these new root blocks are really cool. So, we're going to add... Loads of mangrove trees all the way around. Now we'll add in all the grass. We'll just spam bone meal. Fill it in and make it look really grassy and overgrown. Because we're going for that really, like, you know, natural pond that looks really, you know, dirty. But it's also really cool and magical. Like, bam, just throw that all in here. Add some double tall grass to make it look a bit, little bit more overgrown. And throw some more here. Just bow milling up a place, like bam, bam. It's 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 it's, it's nature. Boom. <laughs> it's like you just bow mill it. But no, yeah. Like you add that, looks really, really cool. And then the secret trick you want to add it now. Oh, just add a little bit. One more here. Okay, one more. Okay. Come on. Just looks a little bit barren here. Boom. Okay, cool. But yeah. Now the secret trick. Now you probably have noticed it. The spore blossom. The spore blossom, you, you put a few of these up here. You actually do need um, a solid block. You can't put it on leaves, so... 
go over here and just grab a one of the new blocks. All right, mango leaves. I mean log, mango log. Place one here. You know you can have them all over the place, and we'll throw another one right there. Throw another one over here. There, throw another one there. Throw another one over there. And it'll add this nice effect with all the different, different like particles all over the the area. Look at that! Look at all those particles added in now. Really brings up the atmosphere and the the, the ambiance. You know the ambiance. They should actually add these in like this biome as well. You know. Uh, let's have that facing down. Another leaf. There we go. Cool, and yeah, sort of like cover that up. But I mean, you don't want them like so you're gonna have them showing actually. It doesn't matter if they're showing or not. I think that's a good coverage having four or round or five, you know. So you walk in here and you go, Oh wow, look at that! Nice spread of particles. Next, yeah, because you can't place them on the ground, which would be a cool trick to do. You can have them on the ground, but finally, it's time. The thing you've been waiting for, the frogs, and we also grab tadpoles as well. Tad poles. Oh, it's a spawn egg as well. Okay, cool. So, frog eggs actually will like be on the side usually. They won't be like in the middle of the water, but you can. Oh, your lily pads. How do I forget lily pads? Um, how could I forget that lily pads? I don't know how I could forget lily pads. I'm sorry. Bam, just throw some of these in the middle of water. There you go, for the frogs to sit on. Really, really cool. Yep, I'm going to throw a bunch of tadpoles all around the outside. Because, you know, this is a frog pond after all. There should be tadpoles all over it. And... Bam. Throw a few tadpoles in the bottom. So we'll go down here. Throw a bunch of tadpoles in. And then some frogs. Bam, frog, frog, frog. Some in the water. There you go! Look at that! It's done! That's amazing. There you go, look at an aerial view right there. Really, really cool. And it's, that's awesome. Like, I really like this um, build right now. It adds a, it's a very naturist sort of looking area. Very natural. You know, I haven't done much terraforming or natural building, so I hope you'll like this build. And yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of Minecraft. So, um, survive, uh, not survival. This is the creative world. Minecraft creative. You know, if you enjoyed this build and want to see more like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.